The only time my hair grew an inch in one month, it was in the protective hairstyle that I'll be sharing in today's video. If healthy hair and length retention is your theme, sit back, relax, and subscribe. I reuse my old kink extensions for this style and my doorknob helps me to twist it so that I can wash the hair before I install them. I let it soak for an hour to 30 minutes. I always like to start my hair with a full stomach because when I'm hungry, I'm angry. <laughs> And that's not a good combination for when I'm making my hair. I need two mirrors so that um, I can see my hair while I pat it. These are the products and the instruments that are needed for me to make this style. I let the hair air dry in hopes that it will be dry by the time I'm ready or the electricity will come on and then I can blow dry. I washed, finger detangled and moisturized my hair about 3 days ago and left it in twist to air dry and stretch. Check out my DIY hairbands, they're so easy to make. I have a video on them, I'll put it in the description box below. I like to use my scalp oil on my scalp and on my hair. This is sheer butter, I always put it on the tips of my hair before putting my hair in a protective style. This is me using the mirror to help me with my pats. I use just my fingers to pat my hair for most all of my hair because it's just gentler. Hmm, gentler, it's more gentle. Hmm. <laughs> so the electricity came on and I was finally able to blow dry. I really only used the comb when it came to the pat in the front section of my hair. But yeah, the patting came out pretty good. It took time, but yeah, it came out really good. So in my mind, I divide my hair into the back section, the middle section and the front section. And I twist each side differently based on like the fullness of my hair in that part. So you would notice... At the back section, I'm using a really thin strip of hair. And then I weave the roots. And then if you notice, I am twisting my twist. I don't unravel my twist when I'm doing the back section of my hair because that my hair there is a bit thinner. But when I get to the middle section, you see I'm taking a fuller strip of hair when I, I put the you know the hair in with a crochet hook and make sure that the extensions are at equal length and then I weave I weave the roots whilst my hair is still twisted then I unravel the twists and I add an extra extension, I add extra extensions because my middle hair is pretty full. And just look at how I add the extensions, it's really simple, really simple. I twist my hair and the extensions a bit and then I add the extra strip of extensions and then just twist. First of all, slowly so I can make sure that I have a firm grip on that added hair and then I just twist, twist loosely. If you didn't get that explanation, let me show you again in a clearer view. This is the, now the front section of my hair. So depending on how full your hair is, that determines how full your extension should be. So you see me weaving the extension and my hair in twist together first. And then I unravel the hair. I unravel my hair twist again before I add extra extensions just because my front section is also so fuller than um, the 
back part of my hair and see the way I'm just letting the extension is really simple and then you just twist but then if you want your hair to be really full you can add more and more extensions but this is usually enough for me this is like my hair length cool <laughs> this is a style on its own but I like to rock short hair because of the weather and when I'm at work just don't want hair flying around so this is what we have really cute really chic the ends of my hair protected um, it's not pulling too much on my scalp or my edges. The video showing how I actually grew one inch in one month is linked in the top right corner. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Au revoir. I love you guys. <laughs>